วัสดีค่ะเมื่อ2อาทิตย์ที่แล้วคุณคริสตินลากาดผู้อำนวยการของ IMF หรือว่ากองทุนการเงินระหว่างประเทศเดินทางมาที่เมืองไทยนะคะคุณคริสตินเป็นคนที่น่าสนใจค่ะเพราะว่าเป็นผู้หญิงคนแรกที่ได้เป็นผู้อำนวยการของ IMF แล้วก่อนหน้านั้นเธอก็เคยดำรงตำแหน่งในฐานะสูงสูงหรือว่าอยู่ในตำแหน่งที่สำคัญหลายตำแหน่งด้วยกันนะคะอย่างเช่นการเป็นรัฐมนตรีหลายกระทรวงด้วยกันของฝรั่งเศสค่ะไม่ว่าจะเป็นรัฐมนตรีการคลังรัฐมนตรีพาณิชย์หรือว่ารัฐมนตรีเกษตรและก่อนหน้านั้นที่เธอเป็นทนายความนะคะก็สามารถที่จะไต่เต้าขึ้นมาจนในที่สุดนั้นเป็นประธานหญิงคนแรกของบริษัทกฎหมายชื่อดังระหว่างประเทศอย่าง Baker and m c k e n z i e ค่ะปัจจุบันเธออายุ56ปีนะคะเธอได้พูดคุยกับคุณสุทธิชัยหยุ่นในหลายประเด็นด้วยกันไม่ว่าจะเป็นเรื่องของวิกฤตยูโรโซนผลกระทบต่อประเทศไทยทิศทางที่อาเซียนควรจะเดินไปต่อจากนี้และที่น่าสนใจไม่แพ้กันก็คือว่าการที่เป็นผู้หญิงแล้วจะต้องอยู่ในตำแหน่งสูงสูงสำคัญแบบนี้ยากไหมและเจอความท้าทายอะไรบ้างคะ่ะอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอ
exports import, mm -hmm. whether it's through financial links mm -hmm. with international banks that are, you know, set up in, in multiple places and mm -hmm. capital flows that move in and out of countries, whether it's through remittances from, you know, um, countries of employment and, and low-income countries. Uh, all of those are links mm -hmm. that bring and keep the economies together. Mm -hmm. So there is no absolute immunity mm -hmm. uh, at, you know, at that time of, of accelerated movement of capital, accelerated sharing of information, and, uh, and uh, very, very rapid transmission. Well, Asia will be affected because our exports rely quite heavily on the European markets. You know, it's not going to be the same for all countries. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, if you look at a country like uh, like China, for instance, mm -hmm. it has very strong and uh, high volume of connections with Europe and with the United States. Yes. And we, if the exports of China towards those two regions uh, were to abate mm -hmm. uh, significantly, that would be, you know, a major disruption in the growth model of China. Mm -hmm. And it would also affect, by sort of indirect effects, yes. economies that work with China on a regional basis. Mm -hmm. But if you look at the trade structure of a country like Thailand, for mm -hmm. instance, mm -hmm. you have about only 10% of your exports to yes. Europe. Mm -hmm. So it, it, would, it could affect it. But let's assume you know, it's 10% of 10% in the case right. of a reduction. Mm -hmm. It's not an, an enormous blow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, it's a, a, a reduction. But, but if it's China is affected, blow. we will be affected too, you see, yeah, indirectly. China, yes, you're right. right. Mm -hmm. you, you're absolutely right, which mm -hmm. is why uh, in the various leaders that I have met on the occasion of this Asian trip, mm -hmm. there was a concern mm -hmm. clearly about the situation in the Eurozone, mm -hmm. but there was also concern about the slowing down or the potential slowing down of growth in, in China. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. India? India is, is probably a much stronger domestic market yes. than mm -hmm. it is connected to the rest of the, uh, of the world. It mm -hmm. doesn't export as much, it doesn't rely as much on the, on the outside. Mm -hmm. But China has, in the past few weeks, cut its interest rates twice. Yeah. Yeah. Does that indicate that China is preparing for a slowdown, do you think? The European disease has caught up with China? I think it's an indication that, that China is very attentive to uh, keeping uh, the growth movement. Mm -hmm. it's, it's obviously in China's interest to keep its growth rate in the range of 8%. Mm -hmm. And uh, it will certainly focus on the policy mix that mm -hmm. will sustain that 8% growth. Mm -hmm. We've seen a lot of evolution with mm -hmm. the uh, Chinese economy. Mm -hmm. And it's clearly shifted the pattern of growth from being vastly export-led to being more balanced with mm -hmm. export, yes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but also with investment, which mm -hmm. was the traditional domestic growth of China, but also moving towards consumption. Mm -hmm. So it's a more, uh, more balanced um, growth model with clear uh, you know, mm -hmm. numerical results when you look yes. at the current account of China, mm -hmm. pre-crisis, mm -hmm. post-crisis, there's a mm -hmm. vast difference mm -hmm. and a rebalancing in the zone. You're not concerned, like uh, some observers, that China might face some bursting of bubble, especially in the property? No, because if you, no, if, if you look at the way in which they have addressed that risk, mm -hmm. um, the, um, the, 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 the prudential... Uh, instruments that are being used mm -hmm. uh, are geared at avoiding uh, the bursting of a bubble. Mm -hmm. And the real estate prices have gone up, but mm -hmm. they have not gone up in a, in a very uh, um, massive and, uh, and, and distorting way. So I think they're keeping that under very, very close watch. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm, no, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not overly concerned about that. ASEAN as a whole, mm -hmm. would it be seriously affected by European problem? So you are saying that ASEAN should not follow the EU pattern of integration? Do you think that EU had made the mistakes ASEAN should learn from? Thailand's economy. Mm -hmm. uh, I think IMF has also studied uh, Thailand's current economy quite closely. Right. How do you see it? So, so you see a rebound, a very... 